In the current U.S. economy, it's been harder and harder for international students to get an internship, but thankfully it's not impossible. Uh, we're gonna help you guys out by hearing a great story from our friend Swapnil. And so Swapnil, tell us, what did your job search process look like here in the U.S. for landing your first internship? Yeah, so here I just landed in August uh, 2023. And after landing here, I just like started the uh, application for different internships because like I was not aware about like how we have to apply and all. But uh, after doing some application and getting lots of rejection, I decided to like uh, do some strategic planning for this application. So in like first semester, I mostly apply with uh, different company, but I didn't apply that much companies. But uh, later I just started doing like lots of application. In addition to this, I also went to different career fair, which is happening here in the university, making some connection with the people in the company. So. It was really good. It's just combination of applying online, just uh, having connection with uh, different industrial people and um, yeah, just preparing for the interview. So mostly it looks like that only. Great. So Swapnil had a fun surprise of when he actually got his internship. So stay tuned to find out what that was. Hey friends, welcome to Shine Coaching. I'm Rob. And at Shine Coaching, we're all about helping you to thrive and succeed in your cross-cultural journey, especially with your job search. And in this video, we're gonna do a deep dive on internships. Uh, we've got our friend Swapnil, so please introduce yourself. Hey, hi everyone. My name is Swapnil. I am from Pune, Maharashtra, India. A little bit about my background. I have completed my undergraduation in the electrical engineering in 2021. After that, I do have two years of work experience back in the India. And I started my master in the business analytics and artificial intelligence uh, here in uh, fall 23. After completion of uh, one year of my master's, I started my summer internship uh, at the Eversana and working as a data analytics intern. And uh, after summer internship, my internship got extended into fall and right now working as a data analytics intern uh, in the Eversana. Uh, here at the college, Swapnil, what kind of resources uh, were available and helped you for landing that internship? Yeah, so mostly here at the university, one of the great thing about UTD is that uh, they offer PD classes, which means professional development classes. So after landing here in the United States, we don't uh, have that much experience or anything about how job market really work in the United States. So this PD professional development class really helped me for uh, this uh, internship uh, process. So in that class, they're mostly talking about how you should tailor resume, how you should refine your resume, how you should prepare your answer based on the STAR methodology, and how should you uh, interview with the different people. They are taking mock interview. It's really helped me a lot. And there is uh, another stuff is University Career Center. They are really like uh, a great thing because they are helping in the tailoring different resume. In addition to this, they also have some of the, uh, if you are going for career fair, they practice for elevator speech and uh, yeah, there are lots of stuff is there and uh, I really recommend uh, everyone to just take full advantage of University Career Center and uh, if there are some of the classes like PD and all, just uh, take help of that also. So it's really helped uh, me in my process. Awesome. Let's talk about your interviews. What do you think really helped you land that job interview? And then tell us about what your interview experience was like with the questions and rounds and everything. Yeah, so mostly here in the United States, uh, I gave around like six, seven interviews. And uh, in that interview, I feel like mostly there are three rounds. The first one is behavioral round. The second one is kind of technical. And sometimes there might be some assignment stuff is there because some of the interview, there are some assignment was there and some of there are mostly technical and behavioral. So for behavioral, I would suggest to everyone just prepare everything prior to going to the interview and the for technical stuff they are mostly uh, talking about power bi tableau sql python excel and uh, some of the machine learning stuff so mostly these are tools you have to learn and uh, yeah, that's it. Just prepare for that and it's more than enough uh, for that. And about the interview process. So for my current company, there was four rounds. The first one is kind of HR round and the second one is the uh, technical round. Mm -hmm. So mostly like they talked about like, OK, uh, tell me about uh, some background and all. The third one is the assignment one. Then fourth one is like there was one person who is the team lead. So I have interview with them and it, it's really cool. If you uh, know everything, then that's enough for uh, cracking the interview. Was there any questions you felt like that were difficult or were you comfortable with all of them? Uh, actually, the thing is that like I have two years of work experience in the India and I use that tools back in my country. So 
uh, while answering that question, they're mostly asking question like uh, how you use that, which technology or which tool you use that. So I have experience into that. So I really feel comfortable while just answering that questions. And even though they are asking some difficult question, I was like, OK, uh, it's fine. But still, like they are OK with that. But they are looking for approach, you, how you are tackling with that question. Even though you can't answer each and every question, it's really fine. Because uh, they are okay with your approach and they are only looking for that. So friends, if you're feeling stuck in your job search process, not getting interviews, try out this tool. Our friends at Final Round AI have some amazing resources to help you out and to upgrade your job search and get more marketable. They have their AI mock interview tool where you can practice giving mock interviews and they analyze your responses and your answers, uh, whether you're doing good or bad and how to improve. They've got an AI resume checker, uh, to, again, to increase your resume uh, quality with the keywords, the format, uh, and hopefully it'll get in front of a recruiter. And then they also have a great uh, question bank where they've got questions based on industries, uh, job search roles, and how to best prepare for these kind of questions for a job role. So you're not going in blind for those interviews. So I think this will really help you out. Check out uh, Final Round AI and use our link to check it out for free with a free trial. All right, now Swapnil, uh, once you started your internship here in America, what did those roles and responsibilities look like? Yeah, so I'm working as data analytics intern here at the Eversana. So as a kind of uh, working as a data analytics in intern, I'm mostly working on the data analytics. So uh, this Eversana is the healthcare company. I, we have a lot of data uh, of healthcare company in our database. I have to run the different queries to just analyze data. And also I am working on the Snowflake where uh, I just have to run different query to get the uh, data which they required. I have to run some ad hoc analysis. In addition to this, I also develop uh, different Tableau software, sorry, Tableau dashboard for the different clients. And uh, uh, according to their requirement, I have to customize that. In addition to this, I am working on uh, some of the Gen AI tools and I'm uh, building some of the, uh, the uh, some of the platform for that and uh, for where people can ask questions and uh, we can get the answer for that. In addition to this, like mostly working on analyzing data, creating visualization for the different uh, clients and uh, yeah, just solving their problem. That's it mostly I'm doing here uh, as data analytics intern. Awesome. I love it. And friends, if you're learning a lot, uh, hit that like button to say thanks and cheers to Swapnil for sharing his story. And we got a few more tips to share as well. But our chai question for you guys is what kind of internship role are you looking for? Let us know in the comments. Tell us what kind of role, what kind of company, and let's see if we can help each other out, uh, make some friends, connect, and support each other in that journey. So let us know in the comments which kind of role you want to land for your internship. All right, Swapnil, so you had success when not everyone did. What are a couple of tips that you would recommend for students who are looking for internships right now? Yeah, so talking about this internship process, uh, I would suggest each and everyone just start application part as early as possible. Because I really see that the student, they are coming here, they are mostly focusing on academics, clubs, activities, and some of the university faced and all. I do rec recommend everyone to do that. But in addition to this, I would suggest just allocate some of the time for internship application and uh, interview process. Because early application really help and it will definitely give you age over another candidates. In addition to this, I am like totally aware about that, like you will get rejection and rejection is the part of the process. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about that. I know like your uh, mailbox will be stacked up with the different rejection mail, but it's it's totally fine. So I would mostly suggest uh, do application on the daily basis, uh, do customize application and uh, try to network with the different industry people and uh, yeah and prepare for the interview and really don't worry about uh, uh, that much about your rejection stuff just uh, do your part and uh, definitely you will land uh, uh, internship that's it, it's that easy that's great yeah i want to echo what swapnil said that your job search starts on day one here in america yeah i'm totally agree with that you can't wait until your second semester yeah. or once you get settled job search starts on day one and if you start later, it's it's too late. So friends, yeah, if you want to upgrade your job search, make sure you check out Final Round AI, improve your interview skills, your resume, and get that dream job you're landing for. Check out the links for Final Round AI. We've also made another fun interview story video with our friend Sadant, who did a data engineering internship. Um, so we check out the link to hear his story as well. We've got an entire playlist dedicated to CPT and internship stories where you can learn from students who've gone ahead of you 
land those internships and what helped them and what you can do differently to land those jobs. So Swapnil, this was awesome. I learned a lot and I know this is going to help our friends. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Rob, for giving me this opportunity. And if you want any help, you can connect me over LinkedIn. I am really happy to help you all. Yeah. yeah, connect with us online on social media like LinkedIn, Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to our Chine Coaching e-newsletter as well for more tips and resources. And it was great having you guys tune in. Thanks for being part of this community. And we'll see you guys next time at Shining Coaching. Cheers. Cheers, everybody.